நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் என்ன ஒரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட் டு யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டமல் வீடியோ of a renowned astrologer jyotish mahaguru aditya guruji the link of the original version that is a tamil video is given in the description box of this video this is astrologer deepa and i am presenting you the english version of the tamil video in my last video i explained the effects of sun in 12 different houses for the native of libra ascendant In this video I'm going to explain the effects of sun for the native of Scorpio ascendant. The house of Scorpio is a unique one. Both sun and moon are very favorable to the native of Scorpio ascendant because they are the lord of house of dharma which is 9th house and house of karma which is 10th house. always lord of dharma and karma houses will do great favors to a particular native i always repeat a point in my video that if native of scorpio ascendant enjoys the major planetary period of sun and moon at a younger age they are considered to be very fortunate based on all these concepts When sun resides in ascendant house itself in the house of Scorpio it is considered to be very auspicious it is favorable in all aspects but sun should not be pabatwa here in case of sun gets subatwa then it is an added benefit when sun resides in second house that is in Sagittarius it is considered to be more auspicious it is more favorable than its position in scorpio it delivers extreme benefits when sun resides in capricorn which is the third house sun will not deliver very bad effects because when sun resides in third house it aspects the ninth house to the ascendant when lord of 10th house which is house of karma aspects house of dharma it establishes a connection of 9th and 10th house which is considered to be favorable while i was explaining the effects of sun for the native of libra ascendant for almost all the houses i explain effects of not good in contrary to that for the native of scorpio ascendant almost for all the houses i say sun will deliver benefits what is the reason behind the difference in making predictions the point that you have to understand is the relationship between the planets whether they are planets or friendly or enemical sun is a friendly planet to mars and also it is the lord of 10th house which is house of karma in addition to the friendly relationship with mars 
sun also becomes the house of karma sun is the lord of the 10th house and the lord of the greatest trine that is 9th house lord will always deliver benefits so please try to understand what i said about as the effect of sun right from the first house that is an ascendant house in series in scorpio that is ascendant house sun will deliver benefits in second house in second house also sun delivers its benefits in the third house as well sun will not deliver much worse effects because this establishes the connection of 10th lord with 9th house lord of karma aspects house of dharma 50% benefits by lord of dharma and karma house will be established and the effects will be delivered when sun aspects its dharma house from the third house to the ascendant you might wonder like when i explain the effects of sun in house of capricorn for the nadu of other ascendants i said it is not favorable but here i say the position of sun in capricorn will not do much worse effects and it will deliver benefits because the reason is the connection of dharma and karma this connection overwhelms the shortcoming of the position of sun in capricorn therefore the auspiciousness becomes more significant in this case and it pushes behind the shortcoming to sum up being the lord of 10th house when sun aspects the 9th house when it resides in capricorn it is considered to be good let me explain the effect of sun in fourth house to the ascendant when sun resides in aquarius which is fourth house to the ascendant house it aspects its own house leo which is house of karma this position is really a fantastic position therefore when sun resides in fourth house or second house or third house it is really favorable for the native of scorpio ascendant let me explain the effect of sun in fifth house which is pisces when sun resides in pisces that is in fifth house to the ascendant house it is also considered to be good let me explain the reasons the first is it resides in the house of a benefic being the lord of quadrant it resides in a trine which is also considered to be auspicious it will not deliver very worse effects however since sun is 50% malefic it should not reside in fifth house here sun will not deliver much worse effects when sun resides in the sixth house it is still considered to be favorable though it is said that the luminous planets should not reside in the 6th house to the ascendant house for the native of libra ascendant i told you that the effect of sun is not favorable when it resides in aries sun will not deliver benefits for most of the houses except two or three houses whereas when i explain for native of scorpio ascendant almost all the houses in sequence delivers benefits in whose house sun resides this is the subtlety behind the prediction of effects of sun for the native of scorpio and libra ascendant vedic astrology is such a beautiful art which blends the circles and triangles quadrants into beautiful single unit when i explain for native of scorpio ascendant i say that it is favorable when sun resides in the first house second house third house fourth house fifth house and even sixth house lord of 10th house gets exalted in sixth house thus gaining sthanabala i always explain a concept that when a malefic gains sthanabala and resides in sixth or 8th house to the ascendant house it is favorable having said this when sun 
which is lord of 10th house which is the malefic resides in 6th house to the ascendant house it is considered to be good please try to recall the aforementioned concept of astrology since house of karma or profession gets exalted it means that this person is going to get a very good profession and since sun is exalted which is a significator of self confidence it means that their native will have a lot of self confidence when sun resides in 7th house to the ascendant house in taurus it will not deliver very worse effects when sun resides in taurus it will be in the 10th house to its own house leo and aspects the ascendant house the position which is not favorable for sun for the native of scorpio ascendant is 8th house which is house of gemini i said that for all houses right from first house second house third house fourth house fifth house sixth house and even seventh house sun will deliver benefits but for the eighth house i say it is unfavorable in the eighth house sun will reduce its benefits but it will not deliver any worse effects for the native of scorpio ascendant when sun resides in gemini it will be in the 11th house from its own house leo and let me explain about effect of sun in 9th house the lord of 10th house is in 9th house though as per bhavat bhavam sun resides in 12th house to its own house leo it is not considered to be bad because of dharma karma dipadi yoga in any situation sun should not be in connection with saturn or rahu when sun is in connection with mars you should not consider it as a malefic connection rather it will deliver a lot of benefits when sun is in connection with jupiter or venus it is considered to be more auspicious the position of sun in 9th house is favorable 10th house is favorable 11th house is also favorable and even 12th house is also favorable this is how the prediction of sun will be for the native of scorpio ascendant sun will definitely deliver its benefits in the 9th house provided it is not pabatwa when sun resides in 10th house in its own house leo it will deliver benefits from government government related positions and all favors from the government because when sun resides in leo itself it strengthens its own house in addition to this if sun has got subatwa then the benefits that will be delivered by sun will be immeasurable when sun resides in leo for the native of scorpio ascendant it gets directional strength here sun gains two different kinds of strength one is tana bala and another one is directional strength that is dig bala let me explain the effect of sun in the 11th house gemini is the 11th house for the native of scorpio ascendant and when sun resides here depending on the strength of the dispositor it will deliver benefits when sun and mercury are in parivartan it helps to deliver more benefits for the native of scorpio ascendant when sun resides in 12th house that is in the house of libra it gets debilitated even in this house sun will not deliver worse effects of course luminous planet should not be in the 12th house to the ascendant house however it resides in the house of a benefic and the debilitation of sun is not considered to be good to sum up i will definitely point out only two houses where sun is not in a favorable position eighth house to the ascendant and the 12th house to the ascendant house sun in the eighth house will be worse than the position in the 12th house what is the reason 
because sun resides in the house of mercury and mercury is a dead enemy to the ascendant lord so any functional benefic should not reside in house of mercury and this house also becomes a durstana therefore any planet that resides in house of mercury will not bring benefits to the native of scorpio ascendant having said all these when sun resides in any house except eighth house then it can definitely deliver benefits it will be more or the least based on the house where it resides based on the concept that a luminous planet should not be in 12th house to the ascendant house it will deliver certain unfavorable results sun is a yoga karaga no matter in which house it resides for the native of scorpio ascendant except 8th and 12th house it will deliver benefits when sun is subhatva in any of these houses then it is an added benefit well this is question time for the native of scorpio ascendant when sun resides in capricorn is it considered to be good or not please write your answers in the comment section of this video in the description box we have added the playlist link of all english videos so far published the link of aditya gurji's website is also given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both ios and android users the link of google play store app is also given in the description box that is available only for android users the tamil version of this video is also available please check the description box write your feedback to astro.writeus@gmail.com thank you